Good morning everybody. Respected organizers of the World Fortnite Day Webinar 2020, officials of BS Abdul Rahman Present Institute of Science and Technology, the scientists, farmers, students and others who are all connected on this virtual platform. I welcome all of you to join this World Coconut Day Webinar. It offers me a great pleasure to deliver a lecture on transformed coconut products to this August gathering and this renowned occasion. The coconut tree, it is considered as a tree of heaven. This is because it is a miracle crop which has wide range of geographical adaptation, good nutritional value, functional health. It offers a functional health benefits and both daily uses. Globally, this tree is grown under the area of 12.5 million hectare in more than 100 tropical countries. Coming to the cultivation status, Indonesia is the country which is the leading country in area wise uh, for cultivation of coconut, followed by Philippines. Then, India runs the third. Within India, uh, the leading states are Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and to some extent at a Gujarat also it's been cultivated commercially. How it is uh, guarding our national economy? Let us see one by one. It helps, the coconut tree helps for the assistance to more than 10 million people. It offers employment uh, uh, opportunity for uh, 3 million people through processing sector and it contributes to about uh, 92,000 million rupees to the GDP and rupees 21,385 million to foreign exchange. It presents an array of products for the health, wealth and wellness of the human beings. This is in nutshell about the different uses of uh, coconut. The innermost part of the coconut is the coconut water which is covered by the edible part which is known as the kernel and the kernel is covered with the shell. Over the above the shell we can find the husk. This husk is being absorbed by the kaya industry and after the extraction of kaya the remaining part is no the powdery form it is known as a kaya pit. It is having plenty of other uses. Let us see the various uses one by one. So what kind of products now could be prepared out of coconut? We know that from leaf thrown to the root of the tree, almost all the parts are being used for different purposes. We can classify this into two different groups. One is edible part and another one is non-edible part. So from the edible part, there is known as the kernel and the water, coconut water. So with that water and the products and all could be prepared that we are going to see and from the non-edible part that is uh, other than the, the coconut uh, husk, tree, leaf, trunk, root, crown, flowers and all what are the products we are yielding that we will be seeing one by one. Come to the non-edible products, the coconut shell based products let us see first. The coconut shell powder is being prepared by using the coconut shells which are broken into small pieces and fed into a pulverizer and this is being used as pillow in the industrial product due to their high carbon content and hardness. This is extensively used in the plywood and the laminated board industry as a phenolic extruder and a synthetic resin use in mosquito coils, agarpathies, etc. This is being a substitute for bark powder, furfural and the peanut shell powder. This is because of its uniformity in its quality and its chemical composition and that it also has a better properties in respect of water absorption as well as for resistance to the fungal attack. We can get around 1 ton of shell powder when we use 12,000 of shells. The next product we obtained from the coconut shell is coconut shell charcoal. Here the shell is getting converted into shell charcoal by carbonization process in the mud pits or brick kerns or in the metallic kerns. 
in this modern method the waste heat energy which is generated will be used to uh, drain the kernel that is uh, to obtain the copra the raw edible part is known as kernel and once it is dried and it is known as copra so the heat energy generated during this process will be effectively used for preparation of copra and the charcoal is obtained as a by product the next product is activated carbon this is also prepared from the coconut shell this is superior in its quality because of its uh, small macro pore structures which are more effective for the absorption of gas or vapor it helps to remove the color and odor of the components it is widely used in the refining and bleaching of vegetable oils and chemical solutions water purification and uh, recovery of solvents and other vapors recovery of coal and in gas masks for protection against the toxic gases and an average we could able to get three tons of coconut shell charcoal uh, that will yield around the, from the three tons of uh, coconut shell charcoal we could able to get around one ton of activated carbon then the outer part of the shell is uh, known as the husk the husk is the raw material for the coir industry this is also domestically used as a fuel for uh, preparing copra in copra kilns the husk of the mature coconut consists of numerous fibers uh, embedded in uh, soft cork like uh, brown tissue which is usually referred as a pith the two major coir uh, manufacturing methods are chemical defibering and traditional rating process the national environmental engineering research institute india has developed the cost effective technology for the recovery of value added products such as natural coloring compound and a paper from the coconut husk producing the brown fiber and my microbiological rating process yields white fiber so from the coir we could able to get the prepare the carpets door mats it is uh, it could be effectively used for preparation of uh, various kind of cushions beds etc then the powdery mass after utilization of coir industry what we obtain is known as a coir pit it is also known as a coco pit this is the by product from the after extraction of coir this is an excellent soil conditioner this is uh, used for used as a rooting media for uh, cultivation of a uh, soilless uh, media and a uh, protected structures and it is used uh, used as a mulching material so uh, by the way it can uh, prevents the water uh, evaporation and it arrests the weed growth extra and also this is used for preparation of our nursery plants the pit constitutes about 70% of the husk this is mainly used for cultivation of various horticulture and agricultural crops the next is coir geotextiles the application of coir textiles at the coir bovasta as in the soil erosion control measures and the consolidation of the soil it breaks up and dissipates the energy of flowing water this coir geotextile is widely used against soil erosion and the fill is used river banks and other vulnerable areas when it is used as a protective surface cover it will hold the soil till the vegetation covers the entire area some of the geosynthetic application uh, or in the reservoirs and dams it could be used for uh, storing the liquid waste a uh, solid waste it can be placed in canals roads railroads retaining walls erosion protection and uh, for uh, tunnels it could be used as a lining material and a drainage system this type and this is the usage of geo membrane in as a floating cover for the anaerobic lagoons and this picture shows the usage of uh, geotextile 
to prevent the soil erosion it was found that uh, using 700 gsm geostex textile which retains more of moisture it reduced uh, runoff and the soil also soil loss also prevented uh, to about 50 percent and it, in addition to that it improve it helps to improve the soil nutritional status this picture is about uh, this is captured at the navidad of mexico uh, it shows the usage of bio textile for beach re restoration it help for shoreline erosion uh, protection and also wave attenuation it was found that it offered a very high mechanical strength and excellent filtration properties because it is resistant to uv degradation and also it offers a resistance to chemical attack including saline water so next is about various kind of handicrafts so what are all could be made out of uh, coconut uh, co uh, different parts of the coconut that is the coconut uh, fibers shells uh, trunks etc the handicrafts uh, has an next what uh, prepared is uh, maybe used in the household uh, articles uh, uh, some kind of uh, fancy terms uh, some kind of ornaments extra even the kitchen utensils uh, could be made some ornamental uh, items could be prepared out of it even the tree trunk is being used for preparation of our furniture and the leaves we know it is uh, effectively used as a thatching material for a preparation of huts as well as uh, for partitioning the rooms uh, extra the next part is about the edible part of uh, coconut so far we have seen the non edible part now we are entering to the edible part of the coconut come that uh, coconut how what are the transformed products what we are uh, getting and how it's being effectively used by uh, for uh, different purposes that we are going to see one by one the edible part of the coconut uh, it is uh, known as raw kernel the coconut as it it is used for uh, nut purpose for about a uh, 52 percent it is being used and for tender coconut purpose uh, they are used uh, around 10 percent and for copra making that is the dry coconut preparation there is around 35 to 44 40 percent and for seed purpose uh, only 2 percent that is for multiplication to produce a new seedling and to uh grow as a tree only 2% of the total uh, coconut production is being used for seed production out of this 52% of uh, coconut kernel usage uh, 95% is uh, consumed for uh, domestic purposes and the industries are using the remaining 5% under industry it is being used for preparation of uh, coconut powder cream coconut milk vinegar chips uh, etc and coming to the coca there is the dried coconut kernel it is used for preparation of coca oil and coca as such as a food uh, it could be used and the coconut oil we have uh, plenty of uh, uh, uses like a culinary purpose for about 40% and for cosmetics and the soap industry absorbs around the 46% of the coconut oil produced and the industries are absorbing around 14% of the coconut oil product Let us see one by one the various uh, parts of our coconut. Uh, first, we see the kernel. Sorry, kernel-based coconut products. First one is the coconut oil. Then virgin coconut oil, coconut milk, coconut skim milk, spread oil, coconut milk powder, coconut cream, biscuited coconut, coconut chips are being prepared. Uh, so let us see one by one the coconut meat. coconut meat is nothing but the kernel that is the edible part of the co coconut why it is termed as a meat because this is a treasury of minerals and vitamins that's why this is known as a coconut meat this is rich and medium chain triglycerides it's a dietary fat and encourage encourage for the weight loss this being a metabolism booster leading to a low calorie intake 
and it contains caprylic caprylic and lauric fatty acids which are antibacterial antiviral and anti protozoal which aids for the destruction of pathogens the mono larvae of the coconut uh, fat it combines with the various kind of diseases uh, in human then the next important product is uh, everybody know uh, pretty well that the coconut milk this is a delicious adjunct for many steam cooked foods like vanilla uh, pump idiya pump putto idli and others and mainly it is used for culinary and confectionery items preparations the next is copra the bulk copra there is a whole copra or cup copra that is a half split copra it is prepared by sorting fully matured nuts and which has been stored for about 10 to 12 months till the kernel detaches from its shell here the millable copra that is used for oil extraction while the edible copra is used for consumption as a dry fruit the small copra is used in household preparations in indian traditional pojas this is a picture of uh, full copra that is a uh, bulk copra this is used for culinary purpose and the cup copra that is a half split uh, copra mainly for oil extraction the next product we get from the well is uh, kernel gratings the, the kernel gratings are uh, obtained and it is uh, dried this is also known as a uh, desiccated uh, kernel grating this is produced to the tune of 2500 tonnes uh, per annum it has been estimated that about 50 industries are involved in our country this has a great demand throughout our country for preparation of many dishes especially the sweets and confectionery the next product is coconut milk paste this is nothing but the condensed coconut milk this is being prepared in the form of paste so it is very easy to store it this is being used as a thickening agent especially in the kitchen kitchens and also in preparation of many dishes bakery items confectioneries biscuit making extra the next product is spray dried milk powder Uh, the milk uh, for coconut is uh, extracted and this is uh, dried through spray dry method so that the easily dissolvable form of uh, powder is obtained this is very easy to store in a small packet so whenever uh, there is a shortage of coconut and when we need to use the coconut this powder can be dissolved in water and very effectively replaced this milk powder also could be used in the form of cow milk because it is very tasty and this is uh, this could be used for preparation of many food items and confectioneries now another one is the coconut chips here the thin slices of uh, kernel are uh, prepared and after preparation of these kernel chips they are dipped in a solution containing one liter of water to a gram of sugar and little salt and ginger then uh, this uh, whole content is uh, no the com- Let chips are removed, right, and then it could be used as and when it is required. The another thing is the coconut flakes. This is also preparation of the coconut flakes also one of the same way as that of coconut chips. But here, what they do is the shell as such being removed, so that the kernel will be separated. and the kernel outer part of the kernel will be brown in color the brown part of the kernel the outer part is fully removed and the thin flakes of the outer part of the kernel is removed and the thin flakes of white in color will be prepared and in the similar way of coconut chips it, it will be different the solution containing one liter of water to a gram of sugar little salt and ginger and then it will be removed dried and then used the other product is a coconut flour this is a gluten free flour of the dried coconut this is made from the coconut solids that are left over after the meat has been used to produce the coconut milk this solids are ground into a fine powder a flour like powder and then it can be used it was found that this particular powder is 
very very rich in fiber that is about 39% uh, when we prepare the fiber i mean uh, the flow uh, from other food grains we have found that uh, they contain only 11% but uh, this coconut fiber which is very rich in fi- fiber that is a 39% so very effectively it can be utilized by everybody and uh, this also rich in protein and as uh, so less uh, rich in beta cells the other the product is the kalpa crunch this is also a bit of absorption of milk that is the solid part of absorption of milk this is uh, this powder is especially added with uh, some flour like a food grain any flour of a food grain and then uh, it is added with the cardamom clove cinnamon chili pudina or any kind of vegetables and it can be used as a flour this is also rich in fiber protein and carbohydrate the next important product we could say is a coconut embryo or this is also known as a coconut apple this is nothing but the developing embryo this before uh, germination of uh, the seeds that is for about 10 months old coconut forms this well developed coconut embryo as it is shown in the picture it has got a plenty of uh, nutritional use uh, and it helps to increase immunity we could say that it offers immunity to double the time of any product we can say so whenever some product is referred for immunity we could say that the coconut embryo offers double time of the immunity to us and also it helps to reduce the uh, stress and gives more energy it keeps us uh, very active throughout the day and this is rich in vitamins and minerals it helps to protect the intestine and it induces insulin secretion so that it is uh, advisable for uh, even diabetic patients uh, can uh, take this coconut embryo and it helps to scavenge the uh, free radicals so that all the toxic substances from our body will get eliminated you know it keeps us uh, in a healthy state you know it also helps to cure hypothyroidism the other products like uh, desiccated coconut which are being used as a substitute to the grated raw coconut in various food preparations then processed coconut cream this is also prepared from the Uh, coconut milk this is mainly used in the culinary and confectionery then the powder already we have seen uh, by spray drying we are uh, we can able to get uh, coconut powder this has an advantage uh, for uh, storing in uh, small containers that is uh, it always only very limited storage space the bulk packaging also possible at low cost and it has got a very long shelf life then uh, coconut acid it is being used in the several kind of uh, confectioneries like uh, making uh, jams sweet syrups biscuits coconut barfies uh, and coconut mithai coconut sweet uh, coconut halwa and other sweet items and confectioneries and baked items the next product uh, what we obtain from the uh, coconut is uh, coca when it is dried the kernel is dried and the copra is prepared the dried copra it yields around 65 to 70% of the oil once the oil is extracted the waste that is the coconut cake what a slave us uh could be used as a cattle feed and this cake is being used as an adult treat for chutney making in hotels and all so coconut uh, oil use uh, we know there are uh, plenty of uh, uses that also will see uh, how the the industries uh, it has got uh, industrial use and it has got medicinal use and it is uh, being uh, used as a uh, oil for uh, consumption that is edible oil it is uh, being used to prepare uh, several culinary items chips making and others another form of the coconut oil is the virgin coconut oil this is very uh, popularly uh, people are started using it now um, in regular form of the coconut oil this is made from the copra there is a dried uh, coconut kernel but here the virgin coconut oil is uh, prepared from the fresh milk of the coconut and it is used as unrefined 
there's a uh, saying about uh, that the Philippines uh, so sustained its economy during typhoons uh, by say, preparing and selling these products. It contains about a moderate level of uh, nutrition. The another product is a coconut spash. This is a concentrated of coconut water, sugar, lemon and ginger. This is rich in low calorie vitamins and minerals. It could be stored for about three months. This is very popular in Asian and Pacific kind countries. Other products are inflorescence based products. The first one is Mira. This is termed as an incredible drink. This is sweet, ice white colored sap, which is started from this paint. This is a delicious health drink, rich in sugars, minerals and vitamins. It has got very low level of glycemic index food that is only 35. The global demand for a low glycemic index, index foods are on the rise. So very well the Nira can be uh, supplied. The Nira yield would be 2 to 5 liters per pound per day. And the processed Nira has a shelf life for about one year. So coming to the nutritional composition of this Nira, it has got uh, different kinds of uh, nutrients that uh, we can view from this table and uh, I would like to state that this particular product is totally free from alcohol so for a health improvement very well this Nira consumption can be recommended and this is uh, recommended for curing anemia, tuberculosis, bronchial uh, suffocation and piles. It brings lustres to the skin and hair and it contains uh, glutamic acid which is essential for a protein synthesis and it possesses antioxidant property and the Nira is a health drink and uh, it offers instant energy and it is being a functional food which is rich in nutraceuticals. It is good for post-preservative care, post-operative care uh, because of its uh, high content of electrolytes. The another valuable product is palm cherry. This is also prepared from the Nira, the fresh Nira boiled to about 110 to 112 degrees centigrade and it is cooled for solidification and it is um, uh, found that if this is rich in calcium and phosphorus, this is an excellent substitute for the white sugar. This is a natural sweet now, which is processed without any chemicals. It contains around 60 times of more minerals than that of white sugar and it activates the digestive enzymes and it cleanses the intestinal tract. Hence, it is mainly consumed after a heavy meal. And this is also found to be an anti-anemic substance. It regulates the nervous system and it protects the body from free radicals. It contains composite hyper. Uh, carbohydrates, it keeps the body fresh and active for a quite long period. It wipes out the toxins from the liver and mucus from the respiratory tract. Levels of the textile industries and asthma patients are advocated to consume this panjakri. This is a rich load of dietary fibers which facilitates for the bowel movement. It relieves migraines, it helps for weight loss, it protects from the blistering summers as well as chilling winters. It controls blood pressure also. The other major ingredient is palm sugar. This palm sugar is also low, it possesses a low glycemic index that is 35 and it has got a high nutrient content. The crystallization of the product from the palm syrup yield uh, this palm sugar. Uh, we could get around 15% of uh, palm jaggery. This is the nutritional uh, status of the palm sugar. Uh, the picture shows that uh, it uh, contains around a uh, high level of uh, iron as well as zinc than that of other sugars. Or like a cane sugar or a refined sugar. The coconut wine is also prepared from the by using the Nira. Uh, by fermenting, it is being prepared, and this method has been formulated by the University of Philippines. This coconut wine is a being a golden apple and it is a unique in the wine industry. This is found to be rich in vitamins uh, like a vitamin B and C and uh, it is also rich in mineral. 
the next product is coconut nectar or flower or a blossom syrup. This is made from the sweet sap produced from the coconut palm blossom and it is a constraint of a nira. It has a neutral pH. Uh, there are about 17 amino acids uh, present in it. Uh, it has a broad spectrum of uh, vitamin B and C. This is also having very low level of glycemic uh, index. Uh, this is better for liver than that of uh, Agiv Sira. Coming to the conclusion part, the coconut can very well be referred as a tree of plenty. As for the saying of uh, grow a tree per home, if at all anybody likes to grow a tree, we wish that it should be a coconut tree because this is the tree of heaven. It offers opportunities in plenty. I once again thank the organizers for the given opportunity and I thank all the participants. Once again, I offer thank you.